Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Today we're talking about building a brand. Here are some do's and don'ts uh, when naming your brand. You do want to choose a name that's appealing to you and your customer. You do want to be creative in your name, dare to be a little bit different than everybody else. You want to run a trademark search uh, to make sure it's available. Uh, you also want to check domain names. Uh, that's domain names of websites and then handles of like different social media platforms. starting a business, whether you own a business already, whether you're just wanting to start a YouTube channel, I'm going to share some information with you today that is going to help you with your branding. Before we jump in here, I just want to say thank you to our subscribers. Thank you for following our journey. If you're new here, we are doing a series of videos that are related to how to build a YouTube channel and there's a playlist down in the description down below. Uh, feel free to check that out and watch all the videos related. How, how to build a YouTube channel. Check out the playlist, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and let's jump right into this. Today we're talking about branding, which is super important because your brand is basically your uh, face to your company. It is the value that comes out of your company. It represents who you are. Your logo is part of your branding. The mental image that people will remember so really branding is all encompassing for your business. It's going to be the last thing that people remember when they interact with you and your products. And so you want your branding to represent who you are well and who your company is well. If your branding is done correctly, it should improve recognition. It should create trust. It should increase value. It should motivate your employees. It should attract new customers and it should support your advertising campaigns. So as you notice, I'm reading some of my notes here, and it's actually coming from an ebook that I have. It's a 24 page ebook, and it's packed full of information all about building a brand. And I have it available for you today. There's a link down in the description if you want to get a hold of this ebook. It's uh, five chapters, and there's 24 pages just packed with information. Uh, and it's super helpful if you are interested in building a brand or if you just want to learn more about uh, branding and logo development, etc. Consistency is another huge piece about branding. When you set a plan, you want to make sure that that plan, uh, whether it's pumping out YouTube videos, you know, a certain amount of videos per week, uh, you want to have a plan set in place that you know you're not going to burn out on. Uh, but it's also going to provide enough content to keep people interested. So you're going to have short-term marketing and you're going to have long-term marketing. And when you are first figuring out what your brand is, you really want to think of the long-term. And you want to think bigger than what you're already thinking. And so initially I thought of the, the title uh, Train My Lab as uh, you know the name of the company or the name of the YouTube channel and I was going to specifically just focus on Labrador Retrievers and it was just going to be limited to Labrador Retrievers because I named it Train My Lab. However, I got some advice to name it something broader like Gung Ho Dog Training and now it can encompass all different types of dogs and even though I love Labradors and I love working with Labradors, uh, there is now room, say if somebody else you know, train border collies uh, to herd cattle and they wanted to come and make videos on my channel and be part of my website. Now I have the option to do that and the horizon is a lot broader even though I might be to a specific niche at the beginning. And that goes hand in hand with naming your business because you want to have a name that is uh, broad enough that you can do different things. If you think about like Google and Apple, um, like they didn't you know, Apple didn't name their company like iPads, um, but because they're named Apple, they can do a wide variety of products. And so you want to make sure from the beginning when you're setting everything up, that your branding is set in place so that your company can grow to the, to the place that you would eventually want to grow to. Once you come up with a name for your YouTube channel, uh, you would want to take the mindset of the audience. Uh, someone that is searching for things on YouTube or someone that stumbles across your channel, what are they initially going to think when they read the title of your channel? 
You also want to leave room for a little bit of interpretation in your naming. If there are other YouTube channels that are already named the name that you want, that shouldn't be a stopping point. But if that channel is, you know, has millions of subscribers and is really big and doing really well, then you have to think that that's going to be your competition with that name. So if you come up with a name, uh, like Gung Ho Dog Training, I haven't found that anywhere else. And so as far as I know, from the research that I've done, there's no competition yet. Now you could go start it right now, but that kind of uh, defeats the purpose of me sharing all this information with you for free. So come up with your own name, make sure it's creative, uh, search the domain names. You can go on godaddy.com or other hosting websites and search for don domain names to see if they're available. And then just go to Instagram on your web browser. You can type in instagram.com slash whatever the handle is you want and you want them to be the same across all the platforms. So one thing that we didn't do with Axe Family is on YouTube we're Axe Family, but on our website it's axfam.com. And if you go and search Axe Family, uh, someone's offering to sell it for $2,000. And that, at the time, you know, when we started, wasn't uh, an amount that we were ready to spend and it's still not an amount we're ready to spend. So we decided to just go with it. However, looking back, I would have named it different. I would have uh, made sure everything was available from the start. Don't confuse people with funky spelling. Uh, don't choose a pun or a word that may be offensive. And don't add incorporated to the end of your business name unless you've gone through the process of being incorporated. I'm not gonna be able to get through all of the things I wanted to get through today, but all of that information is in the ebook and you can check it out there. Let's talk about color real quick. So if you went and did a search for color emotion guide, you would find that different colors have different meanings and that they also uh, evoke different emotions in people. Here in the ebook, I go into detail of uh, what each color means and so if you want to keep it really simple just pick two colors and you want to make sure that those two colors balance well with each other. There are three types of logos. There's a font based logo which is basically you have just words and that is your logo. You have an illustrative logo which is kind of a combination of an illustration like a, an image along with your wording and then you have just a graphics logo, with it, which is just a graphic. And Gung Ho Dog Training, we decided to just go with a graphic logo. And it was really cool because I wanted it to represent the relationship that I already have right now with Chief. My relationship with Chief be the symbol of this company. I thought that would be cool for it to start that way. What I did was I actually took a photo of myself and I put that into Photoshop and I turned it into a silhouette. And then I also took a photo of Chief and I put that into Photoshop and I turned that into a silhouette. I basically, you know, highlighted the shape of Chief and highlighted the shape of myself and turned it all black and then made the background white. And then I put a circle in there and I made uh, this logo. And then I took that logo and I sent it to a guy to have it animated. And this is where I need your guys' help because he sent me back two different video clips of this animation and I'm thinking about putting this at the beginning of the YouTube videos. And one is this right here. And if you notice, the circle doesn't move. And so then on the second one right here, uh, the circle actually moves. And I've been asking people which one they prefer. And so comment down below uh, which one you think looks better and which one I should choose. The next thing I want to touch on real quick was common branding mistakes and I'll just be able to hit on a couple of them here. One is to never break your promise with your audience. You can learn a valuable lesson uh, from companies who have changed the way that they originally said they were going to do things and that was a rough transition for them. I kind of go into detail with some examples in the ebook. Don't make inconsistent decisions. Uh, don't avoid damage control. Uh, never release antagonizing or offensive advertising, and there's more. So this is all in the ebook, and I kind of end the ebook with the benefits of establishing a solid brand. Man, there really is just a lot of information on this topic, and so um, that's why I put it all together in an ebook form so that you can get that for yourself and kind of go through it. And there's a lot of YouTube videos out there on branding and this topic and it's just a process that I went through of you know searching and watching tons of videos and 
uh, it just takes a long time. So having it all in one spot is really helpful. And that's what I was hoping to do for you guys today was providing this book. And so I put it on our website. Uh, you can go check it out. And if you are starting a YouTube channel yourself, I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear uh, what the name of it is, any logo ideas you have. So definitely comment down below. And I read all of the comments, so I'd love to hear from you. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and thanks to you who have subscribed and hit the bell uh, so that you get notified when we post new videos. It means a lot and we will see you in the next one. Hats off to you.